Good morning guys. It is Sunday. I am headed to work and I actually wasn't going to work today. However, I'm about to hit this, this little bump and my camera's gonna fall. Maybe not. Um, but one of the girls that I work with wanted to um, take today off um, for some kind of um, family gathering that she was having and she asked me to cover so um, I told her that I would cover. Um, normally I work 7 to 7 but um, I told her I'd cover 7 to 3 um, which is simply what everyone does if you're covering someone everyone will try to be like I'll come in 7 to 3. I do want to let you guys know that Poshmark is sponsoring today's video. I've used them for a long time. I know a lot of you guys also use them. So I'm, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about them later and show you guys the process. But thank you for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to try to film a couple clips at work without it obviously being inappropriate um, or illegal because I do work in a, like a medical facility. So obviously I have to be very careful. Um, so if I, if I decide not to, then I guess I won't, but, um, I did bring some school stuff. I have a really big exam tomorrow morning. It's just very crucial that I make a good grade on this test because the better you make on tests, the less you have to worry about the final and making a certain grade. And we only have four tests and my first one, I did not technically pass it. I failed it by two and a half points which in the grand scheme isn't a lot but I really want to make up for that and more with this exam and I've studied my butt off for this exam I've never studied so hard for a test in my life than I studied for this one so I hope everything goes well I'm, I might actually not even end this video until after I take that test tomorrow so I can tell you guys my grade <laughs> because I have spent all of my time studying for this test I just got to work and I forgot that one good thing about working the weekend is typically whenever we um, work we have to park an employee parking like a couple roads over and they actually bus us from the parking lot to the hospital it's kind of like the airport they have those little buses and they transport us or we can just walk it um, I'm not all for walking it. Sometimes I'm just, especially after work, I'm just so tired. My feet kill me. But on the weekends, we can park in the clinics that are surrounding the hospital. So I'm, I forgot about that until I got here and saw employee parking was empty. And I'm like, oh yeah, we can park really close. Life's little moments, but I'm super happy that I can park so close. Um, I'm going to switch to my phone and let's go to work. I've been gone, but I haven't done much Kinda of strange, I can take a beat from my better self. It's like no one else even really scratches the surface. Cause nobody gets, nobody gets. Nobody and sorrow, gets. turn to joy. Amen. I'm looking for faith, looking for love in every direction. I'm looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. When my torch is blown out Let me escape From my hideaway I give up all of my little addictions But I'm still stuck with some tough decisions yeah. Now I'm up against the wall And I'm looking for your What are you doing? 
Okay guys, I'm gonna really quickly tell you guys about Poshmark who is sponsoring today's video. It is a completely free app. It is very, very, very easy to use. You just download the app on your phone, you make an account, and then you pick out brands that you like. You put in your sizes if you want to. If you're searching for something that you want, all you do is put in the size and it will filter it that way, which because some apps, whenever you use them, you type in what you want and you find it, but it's never the right size. Or you see a pair of shoes you like and they're never the right size. So you can actually search with your own size, which makes it so much easier. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I've uploaded to my closet. And of course it's gonna be linked down below so you guys can find it. But I'm gonna put a screen recording of how you basically can sell clothes of your own if you want some extra money. You can put your own clothes on this app, shoes, purses, whatever you want on there, and they make it just so user friendly. Because even I have trouble with apps sometimes. I feel like I'm old and can't figure out technology sometimes. But once you create your account, you go to your closet page, you press the sell button on the bottom. All you do is click it and it brings up a picture, an empty camera, and you just take a picture of what you want. Um, I took a couple pictures of each item just to show like tr the true color and the size, and then I posted them. So it was ab absolutely just super easy. And two, on this app, you're gonna find a lot of better higher end name brands for a fraction of the cost which is nice because I don't have money just growing on trees. I am a single mom, I am in nursing school, and I work part-time throughout nursing school, so I'm not working a full-time job bringing in like loads of income. Um, so I like finding cute things on that app too for a fraction of the cost. One of the things that I'm listing, which I'm sad because I love this bodysuit, but it doesn't fit me anymore. I've only ever worn it once, but it's this pink velvet one, which you guys, for holiday season, I love this bodysuit so much. You guys know, if you know me, that I love bodysuits. I have a closet full of them. I just love them because I love high-waisted jeans because I am a mom and I don't have that flat tummy and high-waisted jeans just pull me together but I cannot fathom tucking in a top to it. So bodysuits are perfect for me and I love this one and I do want to buy this one in a bigger size. So I've worn it once and it's listed in my closet. I also listed this sweater right here. You guys will recognize this sweater from a Stitch Fix haul. I love this sweater so much. It honestly has been the best sweater but it's not cold enough in alabama to wear thick material like this it just gets too hot and i would die halfway through the day i would maybe be able to wear this like one time a year but it's off the shoulder or you can pull it up over the shoulder and it does have the cuff sleeves i also listed this leopard tank and it has this black lace detail on the top of it and it's adjustable so you can pull the straps and adjust them if you don't want as much cleavage showing it would look really good with a black cardigan over it again even though it's fall and it's getting colder you can layer this if you work in an office where it tends to get hot in the office you can always slip the cardigan off too if you're like in your own private office or if the dress code allows for tank tops i love this top you guys it's so cute and i have several ones like this this one i actually purchased at a local boutique and i do have a black and white polka dot one with the same detail that i love so i am keeping that one because i wear that one more i've worn this one one time so i just don't grab it enough to keep it in my closet and i'm trying to downsize because all of my clothes are about to come back from iowa and i need to make some room I also posted this long sleeve bodysuit with the button detail. I love this bodysuit so much. It's actually not buttons though, it's snaps, but they are functional snaps, so you can unsnap them if you want to show off a little bit more skin. I posted um, dresses on there. I posted a sweater from Express on there. So there's different clothes for different seasons that are on there, and I'm still planning on adding some more. I used to do Poshmark a while back and then I started hoarding my clothes and not doing it anymore. So I did create another Poshmark um, so I could work with them for this video and I'm actually glad because it does give me the option to clean my closet out, make room for my clothes coming from Iowa and make room for more fall purchases that I'm gonna make this year. So if you wanna check out my closet, I will have my closet username and a link for you guys down below and I hope to see you there. So remember that test I was talking about at the beginning of this video? Failed it. <laughs> It's not funny. It's very serious. Um, this was my second test of four tests in this program. I'm used to many more tests and uh, my first one was very borderline and then I completely failed this one. I'm actually, I'm not, I guess I'm not surprised that I failed it, but in a way I am surprised because I studied literally so hard and I spent a lot of time going over material 
and when I opened the test halfway through I realized I was not gonna pass it because each teacher teaches a different section of the same class so we have three teachers for the four sections of this class and of course the one that I found to be hard and I couldn't pass our test teaches two sections so I'm kind of feeling like I'm out of luck and I'm kind of getting nervous um, when I'm in clinical and it's hands-on it's like I know what I'm doing I feel comfortable but when it comes to the material nursing programs are really notorious for making it hard to pass if that makes sense which is important because you want nurses who graduate programs and pass boards to be on it to know their stuff because patient safety is number one key and the board of nursing wants to know that nurses who graduate and pass their boards can go take care of a patient and keep them safe and um for some reason this teacher her test i did not feel like and actually most of the class um a lot of the class that i know of did not pass her test and it's very disheartening because I do I know the material and um, we have a I don't know what you call it a website we log into called ATI and I was perfect scoring the tests on there and then her test was nothing like that so I don't really know um, all I can do is try harder next time I have a different teacher for this section and I hope that when I get to the last section with the teacher that I find very hard, um, I can adapt a different study technique and my grade won't suffer. But it's very cutthroat and I almost feel like it is life or death that I pass this semester because my job is graciously paying for the rest of my nursing school. And I don't know what failing a semester would do if they would not pay for the rest of it. If I'd have to just pay for one semester to retake it. I know this is like you guys probably don't care about this kind of stuff um but this is just the season of life that i'm in right now i have literally nine months of school left and it's flying by but if i do not pass this semester then um i'm out of luck <laughs> for um graduating early because it's not it won't happen i'll have to retake a semester and then i'll still graduate on the normal time so not to the end of the world, but it's very hard. I'm obviously working a lot as much as I possibly can without my grade suffering and trying to do YouTube, which obviously I haven't been on here in a month and my plan was to do one video a week and that hasn't happened. But again, I have to stress that school's the most important because um, it has to come first along with the kids. Um, the twins are actually in bed. Um, I put that little snippet in and them walking into the house today so you guys can see they're both walking and I feel like a whole new woman. These babies are walking and now I have free hands. Yeah, so I'm about to take a midterm right now. I am in, this semester I am in general psychology and um, my nursing class and I just finished my orientation class because I didn't take it until third semester when I felt like, see, my midterm alarm so I don't forget anything. Um, so I'm gonna quickly take this midterm and fingers crossed, I'm gonna update you guys as soon as I'm done what I made. But this, this, these are my nights. I sit here when the kids go to bed and I study and read and TV is so foreign to me, I don't even know. Um, TV is just background noise to me these days, but it's okay because I know it'll be worth it, but I've got to get it in gear. You wouldn't understand it, maybe something's missing. Side of you, just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple. That's a wrap. I made an A. I'm very thankful. Um, this class, this teacher has made everything super easy and I'm very thankful. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of my study time. I still remember a lot from the psychology I took up in Iowa and they're very similar classes because the one I took in Iowa was kind of a combination of general and um, the adolescent, but my school here would only take that one as the advanced and I had to retake general, which I'm thankful for because general is much easier that I remember. So I'm very happy with that. And it's just another thing to check off the box because my semester is half over and it's official now that I have finished that midterm. So I'm very, very thankful for that. 
I do want to thank you guys for watching this video. Obviously, it was a lot of overlay with music and um, I'm trying to put out what I can. I appreciate y'all for bearing with me. Nine months may seem like a long time, but it's not really that long of a time because once I'm done with school, I will have a lot more free time. I'll be working three days a week and not be in school the rest of those days. I will be in the BSN program, but it's not gonna be as demanding as this is right here. It's very, very demanding. And I just wanna say I appreciate you guys. Um, I know there's been a lot of questions because it's been a year since Brian deployed last. I do wanna update you guys. Um, yes, he is back. And I know that a lot of you are gonna be awaiting the time where I show him seeing the kids. Um, he is back. He's already seen Paige. I got that video, it was very sweet. I don't wanna post it on here because I haven't asked her mom or Brian for permission to post the video. So I'm just not gonna post it here without their permission. I will ask if I can show you guys that video when I show you guys the video of him seeing our kids. Anison has no idea. And the twins obviously aren't really old enough to understand yet but he is coming here next month so that video will be out as soon as i can get it up after he comes back and um i'm really excited for them to see him i cannot wait to see their reaction and obviously i'm very thankful that he made it home safe because no matter what the situation is with him and i i'm just glad that his unit made it home safe and that's all i could ask for and obviously it does warm my heart that my step well i'll say stepdaughter I know that technically she's not, but um, I'm glad that she has her dad back and they're in Iowa and I can't wait for Anison to see her dad and it's gonna be wonderful. I know there's gonna be lots of tears, probably just on my part, but um, I'm very, very, very happy and he's doing wonderful. He's glad to be back and reunited with his mom, family, girlfriend, everyone that was waiting for him. And um, yeah, so that video will be coming again. He is coming here next month and he's bringing a lot of my house stuff to me, which was very nice of him, um, that he was willing to pack a trailer and bring it to me. Um, so that's gonna be all for this video, you guys. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching it. Um, please bear with me while I continue on trying to figure out this whole schedule situation with posting to YouTube, but I am doing my best. But unfortunately right now with my school looking like it's suffering a little bit, I may have to step back but um, I do appreciate all of your encouragement while I am very low key now on social media and not there all the time. Um, I definitely didn't think this was gonna happen, but reality is setting in for real and life is a lot different now, which I would not change it, but um, I mean, it is, it is what it is. So I'm just rolling with it and I appreciate you guys for coming along with me. I will see you guys next time. Bye.